after watching sunrise on our first day in Hokkaido, we miraculously came across with a decent van within our budget. Got it delivered to our new home in Shinhidaka and started converting into a camper van from scratch. I broke something. On our own by only watching it YouTube. Right here. Friends don't lie! This episode is part 2, completing our mini <laughs> camper van. I messed up. Ready to start our van life in Japan. Instead of nailing into this directly, we're going to put these, fit them in the middle, and then nail this to okay. the wood. And that's something we saw some YouTuber do on a video, and we thought, oh, okay, that's a really cool idea. So we're gonna try that and see how that works for us. So this is how this will look, and we'll knock it in from there. Perfect. So for the flooring, we came across this and Ikumi really liked it. And instead of doing it individually again, it's just this whole board thing. Super easy to put up. It'll still give us enough space. It's not taking so much space away from us. We want to have as much space to the roof as possible. We're not trying to sit down and have our heads almost touching the roof. Let me go straight. More? I'm so tired. I could go to sleep right here. The trunk only opens from the back. I'm gonna fix that. Because right here, this opens the trunk, and this is the locket. So I'm going to connect these to that from the inside. See, it's connected here to the, the push down thing. I connected these two together. It's closed. Now we can open it. So we're gonna put up the shelf and we want to put things on top, right? But we need something to, you know, like a net so that it doesn't slide out of the shelf. I've never done this before. I used to make like hemp accessories when I 
lived in Hawaii I was selling them at the surf shop and stuff so I know how to work with hemp strings but this is new to me so let's see how it goes Okay. How do you feel? Not too bad, is it? Okay. So I'm done with the short one. There's a room to be improved, but I have a lot more to go. One, two, three, four, five. So one done. I think it looks good. I, I like your your mesh net that you made. Mm, thanks. It does kind of look like a basketball. Right? Yeah, I think that's what it is, really. <laughs> I can't do that. That's good, but. Yeah. I'll just put one in on each side right now. You moved it. <laughs> Don't move it from here. Be careful with your hand, boo. It's flat. I made sure to put a flat one in. What do you mean flat? Oh, okay. Now since it's going to be driving a lot, it's just best that we give everything that little extra. You think it's leaning down a little bit? What do you think, boo? Yeah. We'll totally put like bath towels and stuff here. Or like toilet dairies. Maybe something. Yeah, that's good. We're gonna wrap this with that Moroccan, Moroccan? Moroccan wallpaper. It's actually not a wallpaper, it's a tablecloth. Be careful. Looks good. Mm. I think I picked a good one. Yeah. It's a little bohemian First chic to it. Okay. It's just this. Ooh. That's looking classy. Let me give you a preview. It's for the shoes that we're going to be using often. So we don't have to worry about that. All right. Uh, we added this so we can open from the outside. From inside. From the inside. And then this little lever we added so we can lock and unlock from the inside coming along huh yeah we still got so much shit to do <laughs> remember these things that we had up there we're just gonna reuse them but we're gonna DIY it 
like a boss. Black on black, in it? You want to make it round here, too? Round here? Yeah. Round here? Yeah, who sings that song? Um. Memphis Bleak. You don't know nothing about Memphis Bleak. Let me know in the comments if you know anything about Memphis Bleak. I think only Americans. Let's see how that looks. Hey, buddy, stop crawling around here. I need you to wrap it up. <laughs> that shit looks like we got about to put a fireplace in there, boo. Oh, let's do that. One of the fake flames coming out of there. Or when you wrap it, you just... No, okay. You're right. Let's do your way. Yeah. Happy wife, happy life. You learned, finally. Yeah, I learned too damn quick. Spank it, spank it, spank it, spank it. It got too dark last night, so we stopped. I like my morning voice. You like my morning voice, babe? Mm -mm. I'd be like, yo, hey, girl. Let me get up in them jeans. Right? No. That's a good one. It's too early in the morning. <laughs> it's like 7.30 in the morning. That looks good. You did a good job, babe. Thank you. You know, there's just no, really there's no need to rebuy everything. It does just no point, right? You just, you take all the old stuff, you repurpose it, and make it look freaking awesome. Get in there. Be somebody. Ugh. Perfect. Done. Look at that. That's pretty. That's real pretty. Good job, boo. Thank you. We cut off the, the, the bottom so nothing will fall into the car. So that's yeah, cool. Try to put it something in. This is not long enough. Oh, okay. Bam, you know? Storage. Thunder or the military. Now let's put the woods where the woods go. Let's get a little. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck get a woodchuck chuck chuck could woodchuck quug? Quug. Quug. <laughs> Stop wasting. <laughs> what? I was just checking it out, making sure it was working. First thing done. It's good. Okay, let's do the rest. So technically in a total we have three different storage compartments in the front and we have five back here. Over here is 131 and this edge here, the very last one is 133. 122. Then we can make a big table which is what? 90, 93, that's too big. <laughs> that's way too big. 93, to 130. You trying to have a party? <laughs> yeah, maybe. One cool little random thing we're trying to do is we want a table that comes out. But instead of doing the tables that we normally see on campers where it just kind of like is a drawer that folds out on one side, we want it to be an attachable and detachable table that we can put on any side, at the end of the van or on both sides 
um, of the doors that come out depending on where we're staying at that night because sometimes the ground might be leveled or we might park or against something so this side of the hook will attach to the frame and this side of the hook will attach to the table it's this big the table mm. that's way too big this whole thing mm. unacceptable that is aggressively large boo. I know Technically, it's about the same. No, don't say technically. This is our bed. <laughs> <laughs> that is a bad sentence. Technically, you are nailing a coffin. This is our home. That is not a sentence you put that in. That's terrible. Bam. All these are cut off into sections, except for this one. This one's long ways because. We want to be able to put our lawn chairs in there or our tent. Both of these sides will be storage as well. But this side actually is not nailed down at all. And there's a reason why. And we'll show you guys that after we finish the platform. And we take this off, flip it over, this becomes a table. But since this, these two are doors, we have to keep them closed. So if we put this latch over and lock it, I hope this works. We're going to make a separate table, right? That just hides in here. But Ikumi had a good idea to why not let the table be part of our platform that we sleep on, which will save the space. Okay. What do you think, Boo? You need the support right here. You can support both at the same time. And then we have the one in the at the end. We also will eat inside. We have a table for the inside, but you know, if we're somewhere nice and we want to be outside, bam. Now you see the side table. Bam. I can imagine you somewhere with a a river or ocean view, cutting up some food, cooking something. Right? Or even working on the laptop. You know, editing. And then bam. Last side. Swag. We're very lucky that our new friend here in Hokkaido let us borrow his saw to cut that. And Thanks, Yasu. Thank you, Yasu, for that. And then next, the last and final thing for this to be done is the cushions. And that's all we have to do. Hey, we have enough space. This is a lot of space for us, right? We actually have a few other surprise cool things that we're building that are attachments on the outside. So make sure you like and subscribe and stay tuned for that because it's going to be cool. That little table we just did that's universal for all sides is just a little idea. We're not really buying everything already made. We could, but 
it's more meaningful to us when we can do it ourselves. We appreciate it more, we love it more, and we can take pride in it more when we can do it ourselves. 55 plus 3, no, 3, 1 and a half, 50. Yo, <laughs> you got a proper street. 56.5. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Who do you think you are? With I'm all trying these... to get a half of 133.5. Who do you think you are with all these numbers? <laughs> 55, 1.5, 25, 89. 133.5 divided by 2. You sound like a mathematical auctioneer. <laughs> Mind your own business. I think your hole's getting bigger. I think your hole, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> it was kind of disgusting, isn't it? I'm talking about this hole. Who cares? I do! I'm trying to help you out. You're the one who needs big holes. <laughs> that sounds sexual for no reason at all, you know? He's intoxicated, just so you know. Intoxicated? I'm, I'm inebriated. What? I'm infatuated. I ain't trying to get incarcerated. Oh, I got bars. I'm done. Babe, you still have one more, two, ho ho two, two holes. Oh, my bad. Two more holes to run do. <laughs> what? Are you speaking English? No, it's not. Not at all. Not even close. But you know, this car is not parked on a flat land. Mate. It is on flat land, mate. No, it's not. Mate. What flat is he talking about? Look how tilted this is. This is not leveled at all. Mate. Mate. Forget that little blotty bubble, yeah? I uh, can't. This little blatty bob was lying to you, yeah? No, it's not lying. It's really Science lying. don't lie. Science don't lie? Who are you? Friends don't lie. Friends don't lie. Your name is not L. <laughs> this is not Stranger Things, mate. Ooh, oh. look it. Check this out. I almost. I was right. No, I suggested it, and you almost didn't want to do it. It's not about what you wanted to do. It's always about what I want to do. Yeah, welcome to married life, isn't it? Or, open up. I need more room. There you go. We're gonna make one square box as in cooler box. The entire thing. So I'm making this insulation left over to create exact size of that box. another layer. This is where everything is going to be in. It's an inner layer. And I have one more that fits right in. I hope this works. I hope so. <laughs> We have to make sure we can fit everything underneath our car or here in the shelf. So we have different sections. We put chairs and poles and a barbecue set right here. This is our new grill we bought. 
and we're gonna buy a new pot we don't have any pots right now that's our equipment filming equipment drones everything here we're gonna be putting our clothes we got our mask and water and tools I'm glad we did this so we use this for sides for like certain pots and stuff awesome We've been storing phones and cords yeah yep we have this hole to hang things when we need them we have it on both sides we have the fan this works with a usb so we always have the the power bank to connect with and yeah something like that i feel very responsible <laughs> If I fuck this up, <laughs> we're gonna have a small bed. Wonky bed. <laughs> we're not trying to get one of them cushions that are like super freaking thick. Um, because, you know, then our heads are gonna be like right on the ceiling and we do not want that at all. So yeah, this is thin, but it's comfortable. And we're putting, giving it a few layers so it won't be uncomfortable. There's mystery, there's suspense, yeah. and then that's when you'll get disappointed Just mm. five more to go. This is it. Okay. Nice. We start our adventure and our journey traveling to Japan in T minus five days. So I'm glad we got this done early. <laughs> <laughs>